Ah, so. Yeah, we're ready. We're ready. Time for Miss Mon. Hi. <laughs> so you've had a busy brain this week. Yes. I sat down last night and I texted two friends because I said, I've just sat down. Yeah, yeah. right. Yeah. Yeah. And how does it affect you when you've got a busy brain? Well, not anything else can fit in there, is it? Yeah, right. Just, just what I'm doing, you know. With, yeah, Does it make right. you feel anxious or stressed or...? No, not really. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Because, as we said before, I work to a timetable. Yes. Yeah, we were talking about how uh, we're both always, like, trying to... Well, I personally, I run to deadlines. Me too. Whatever my next deadline is, that's where I'm doing stuff. Yeah. Wednesday's one where I want Mandis room all finished. So mm -hmm. It'll be done by Wednesday. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's go have a play. So where do we need to go today? And how's your body feeling? Yeah, good. Yeah. Cool. Sleep? No. Not not so awesome. No. Not so awesome. Okay. Like that's not a thing that's me either. So whether I've got too much sitting in there. Yeah. Um, that's the only thing I'm thinking. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Cool, cool. So Do you have any um, phone towers near you that you can see from your house? Uh, yeah, but it's over Yellowwood. Okay. It's over the other side of the highway. But I've got a um, electricity tower behind me. Right. Behind the next door neighbour's place. Right, okay. No, anyway, Abby will have a bit of a play with that and just make sure yeah. because... Uh, maybe that's impacting. Okay, where do we need to play, little body? So adrenal, survival, deep survival, hidden deep survival, not yet. Uh, do we need to go into chakras? Oh, higher chakra. Oh, okay. Higher chakra, okay. Boom, bada, boom, bada, boom, bada, boom. Twelfth chakra. So the twelfth chakra... is the I am, it's God consciousness, God consciousness as well as cosmic govern, governance. Ah, but it's the frontal bones and the thyroid that it has an impact on. Oh, okay. So the frontal bones yeah. and your little thyroid. Mm -hmm. Stack them in along with 12th chakra. So let's go out the squares, nope. Yeah, so your I am, your I am consciousness. So this well, week, did you been, find yourself well, I saying... I have been very good at saying I am. Yeah, right. And what have you been, been saying if you've been... Like, I am busy, I am flat out, I am tired, I am exhausted, I am naughty. I, yeah, I am naughty, yes. <laughs> but that was, that was Monday. The rest of the week, I've been really good. Yeah. Awesome. Point six every day, so... Woohoo! That's awesome! Yeah. Well done! Okay. Well done. So to get my goal, I've only got to lose point two a day. <laughs> Easy peasy. As long as I don't have a bad day. Oh well, whatever. Let the bad days go. Yeah. Okay. So is there anything else we need uh, stacked in in relation to this 12th chakra? What do we need to do with it? Do we need to go into PBSS, the celestial circuit, celestial circuit? So it's messing with the celestial circuit, which comes first, chicken or the eggs. So is it that or the celestial circuit allowing that? Right. Okay. So when you're busy in your brain and you're not getting as much, you know, solved as we want, and it just stays there, the reticular activating has to work over time. Sometimes that doing part that's waiting to do, but you can't do it because it's unresolved. No, because you don't know where to start. Mm-hmm. I have made a big start though, so shouldn't complain. Well done. And hold. Update the playlist next week. <laughs> and hold. So that's your celestial circuit in third third stage stress. So is it the cheeky babe side or the masculine side? It's the masculine side. So it's the doing side. It's yeah, like well, that's what I gotta do. Yeah. And it's almost like that exhaustion before you do it. Yeah. <laughs> the body's exhausted in anticipation. Yeah. Body <laughs> wants to relax, but yeah. no, you can't today. Mm. So how many days do you have to do point two a day to get to your goal? 46 days. Awesome.
Awesome. 46 days. That's a long time. But point two a day is quite low for you. Yeah, no. It's when it gets up to point eight and you think, oh no, I can't do that. I can, apple does. Yeah. I've had a lot of apples this week. Yeah. There was one day I had four apples and one protein meal. And I still lost on that, so. Nice. Because as we know, I know what to do. <laughs> yeah, David and I did a chat yesterday about complimentary stuff because how often are people told by doctors that they there's no solutions? Mm. And when people are told there's no solutions, people believe there's no solutions. Mm -hmm. And if we believe there's so no the solutions, body shuts down. Mm, mm. why would the body? Well, they're trying to heal when it's being told there's no solution. When you're gone, there's no solution. Oh. 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 Okay, so we've gone from third stage stress to first stage stress. Okay. That's good. Sure. We're relaxed. Oh, okay. So we need a flower essence. Oh man, you think you'd be over this already. This is family stuff. Well, maybe it's a clearing of the family stuff. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. That's most probably it. Nice. Troy's room I still can't touch, so that'll be the last room. Yeah. Doug still hasn't let go of any of Mum's stuff. Yeah. Wow, but there's eight there's eight drops there, so that's more than Troy's stuff. Oh yeah, that's mean stuff. I've been in the house forty six years last week, so <laughs> there's a lot. Of and how many days there. left do you have to do two point two a day? Forty six. Forty six, really? Oh, not Interesting. Many guys. Interesting. Coincidence. So I believe in coincidences. Mm. Boab. In Kinesi Foundations yesterday, someone said, so what do you do for yourself so you don't take on your client's stuff? And I said, every time I give them a flower essence, I have some myself. <laughs> <laughs> Just in case we've got a frequency match. Yeah. Mind you, most of the time I listen to it, you know, I go, Boab, family stuff? Yeah, okay. Pick me, pick me. <laughs> We've got that in common, haven't we? <laughs> I find there are very, very few perfect families out there. Mm. And it has been interesting chatting to, you know, David about family systems, which is what holistic counselling is based on. Mm. And uh, hearing the way that he talks about stuff. You know, because we've got two different terminologies. I've got my kinesiology, naturopathic terminology, mm. and he's got the same thing in counselling, kinesiology. Yeah. Uh, uh, counselling, holistic counselling, sorry. Yeah. But he says, oh, it's all really complicated. And I go, it's not that complicated. When we've got an energy mismatch, we don't get along with people. When we've got That's an right. energy mismatch, when energy match, we do. Yeah. If we're putting out negative energy and it matches someone else's negative energy, we're going to attract them to us. Mm. All about frequency. Mm -hmm. That's why we match. <laughs> <laughs> we're good for one another. We are. Let's go back and recheck that celestial circuit. And again, hold. Oh, very good. Cool points are coming in. Hold. <laughs> Push to mush, perfect. And hold, lovely. So now let's check the 12th chakra and see where that's at. So. 
frontal bones, thyroid, plus the 12th chakra. I am. I am. I am. And again, hold. Hold. Beautiful. And hold. Excellent. Awesome. Okay. Oh, good. Now what's underneath this? Okay. So what's next that we need to do? Another higher chakra? Nope. Do we need to go adrenal survival, deep survival, hidden deep survival? Okay. Maybe, yeah. So there's something in hidden deep survival. And hold. There is. There is. So do we need to go into the PBSS? Do we need to go into amygdala? Amygdala? Okay, so I'm gonna go in and check through all 21, 24 points of the amygdala. Mm -hmm. See what tests up. So it's saying nope, no, 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 don't worry, it's all stapled, can't fall off. No. Oh, okay, so we've got CV7, which is connected with uh, pituitary gonadotropins and ACTH, so a whole bunch of hormones from in here. Okay, so let's go have a play with where we need to go in your brain just for fun. Hmm. Okay, so the corticotropin releasing hormones, they are released from the, pituit uh, from the anterior pituitary. So in relation to any and all issues with the corticotropin releasing hormone. Okay. Hold up nice and strong. Yeah, no. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> You'd be shocked if you came up with this. <laughs> uh, that's why I test first. Teddy was so excited about the car arriving last night. Oh, okay. Was he here? Yeah, he was yeah. still here when it arrived, like oh, okay. at six o'clock. So I was in here with a client and he was like at the door, Grandma, Grandma. <laughs> yeah, she was, she was here. <laughs> Jasmine's home. Yeah. yeah. Ah, oh, dopamine's also down. That is also linked in with the hypothalamus. So in relation to hypothalamus, any and all issues around dopamine. That's a happy one, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Okay. I'll be happy when it's all finished. <laughs> yeah, it keeps you enthusiastic and motivated. Mm. Yes. You do fit a lot into your days. I know. And then I still you say saying, I'm lazy. I was about to say, you <laughs> saying you're lazy is like me saying I'm lazy. Yeah. If you sit down, you're lazy. Yeah. And again, hold, good. It's been good the list this week. Yeah, right. Sorts, so. Thyrotropin releasing hormone. So that is one of the one that helps to stimulate thyroid and thyroid was linked in with your 12th mm. chakra. Mm. So there's another connection here as well. So when your thyroid's a bit exhausted, you yeah. know, Okay, so in relation to the thyroid and in relation to the thyrotropin releasing hormones produced by the parvocellular neurosecretory neurons. <laughs> Linked in with the thyroid stimulating hormone and prolactin releasing hormone.
Yeah, right. So we've got dopamine on there as well. So dopamine's about enthusiasm and getting stuff done. We've got your body in escape submission for easier. Oh, so, okay. Yeah, your your thyroid's going. Why? I'm tired. Yeah. Let me snuggle up in bed. I must admit, oh, well, yes, it's hard to get out in the morning. It's a bit chilly. Yeah. And yet, I think a couple of years ago, I was walking over the Adler Bridge at four o'clock in the morning. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I could get over to the side. You realise that's still early, right? Well, I've got to be at Aqua at six, two days a week, so. And I used to take the dog for a walk before then, so. But no, he's having a walk this afternoon. <laughs> okay, and there's something before that we need to go into now, so let's have a look. Arterial pressure, heart rate. No, 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 no. Oh, okay, that's weird. So the things that's showing up is something called, um, it's when your hair stand up on end, it's called hollow erection. Mm -hmm. So it's sort of like, um, it's often if your intuition isn't kicking in. Okay. Mm. How's that been feeling this week? You feeling connected? Maybe not. I've just got a big job ahead of me. That's mm. that's the thing. It's, it's too big now. Pull it out. Because mm. you showed me pictures. Mm. <laughs> Told you you had to show me. It's bigger still now that I've shown you. Yeah. Mm. But then it's all the more incentive to get it done too. Yeah, so. absolutely. Now it's like having a walking buddy, isn't it? Or mm, a yeah. diet buddy yeah. or something, you know, it just helps you to stay focused and yeah. switched on. Once again, celestial circuit, any of the chakras? No. Okay, good. Ah, but now there's something associated with the survival pattern again. Ah, okay, so the sixth sense, yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, the scent, right. So I think the sensory overload from knowing what you've got to do yeah. is messing with your connection. Yeah. So it's, um, because it's showing up again in another circuit. Yeah. But Which you know is funny because you just got to do it. Yes, yeah. and I added six cents to the PVSS during a Sanu balance like ten oh, years okay. ago. Because everything was about six cents, you know, yeah. sort of being so connected and so wired. Uh, orbitofrontal cortex. Ah, this is about conflict. Will I? Won't I? <laughs> And like you say, it's quite emotional going through stuff. Mm. And Jay had a bit of a, you know, dig on the weekend about all the gear we've got around the place. You know, I've got some stuff I want to take down to Vinnie's and, uh, but also it's, it's, it's time. The clinic's been shut for four and a half years now. Mm. So it's time for me to Is chuck really? some stuff. Yeah. Wow. Well, COVID's been going four and a half. I think it might oh, be five course. and a half since the clinic shut down or five. Wow. Yeah. I know, it's a lot of years since I've been coming here. Mm. <laughs> yeah, that was the first big clinic down in Wynnum. Mm. I followed you. <laughs> 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 mm. No you're getting away from me. Yeah. Or me getting away from you. Yeah, you need to, um, you know, whenever you're feeling a bit whatever, you need to think, what would Madonna say? I am awesome. <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing how much I do think of you. I probably spend more time with you than just about anyone else. <laughs> <laughs> but you're my sounding board sometimes too. So, yeah. you know, from, yeah. Oh, 
hello. So another, okay, so another sense wants to be. So, okay, so as you're going through your stuff at home, what sort of stuff, like, is it memories? It's associated, like, what's, what's coming up for you? Uh, memories is a lot of it, but, um, but what do I do with them? Yeah, yeah, right. But as I said, I've got those boxes now. Yeah. So I know where it's going. So yeah. just put it there and be done with it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's nice and organised. Yeah. As I said, that's the first time I've really got that far. Oh, and the bin. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> This one, no, nope, no. Nope. What do we need? Do we need a diffusion? Do we need a correction? Do we need a flower essence? Okay, so bark, bush, bush. Isopogon. Oh, okay. So isopogon is a uh, super learning flower essence and it helps to integrate the left and right sides of the brain. I need to learn so when lots. you're feeling well, when you're feeling overwhelmed, when yeah. there's lots going on, yeah, yeah, because as we know, you either and it was interesting with um, David's session yesterday with Kinesi Foundations, because he feels like when he's in overwhelm, he goes into freeze, and it was interesting because it took right till the end of the balance before freeze showed up. Uh, what was showing up during the balance was his body had exhausted flights, but his fights were up and running. And I said to him, well, freeze is how you feel when you're flight, you're in the house, you wanna run away from doing your paperwork, you wanna run away from communication, mm. but you can't. So what you feel is freeze, but the action is exhausted, escape, you know, yeah, sort of yeah, wanting yeah, to run yeah, away. Yeah, yeah. Because the body tells the score, you know. Yeah. Actually, away, let's yeah. use your gates. Do you want me to check your gates in yeah. relation to that, just yeah. out of curiosity? Okay, hold up for me. Hold up for me. Hold up for me. Hold up for me. So in the clear, they're all working. So now let's go left leg, right arm. Hold up nice and strong. That's working. Left leg, right leg. Hold up nice and strong. Hold up nice and strong. Okay, that's that's your, your right handed, aren't you? Yeah. yeah, so that's your right running away gait is exhausted. Let's check fights. <laughs> so right and right and hold up. Yep, good. Left and left and hold up. Yeah, so your fights are working well. Okay. But your flight is exhausted. Okay. Which makes sense, you know, yeah. so because you yeah. can't run away from these messes for too that's long. That's right, yeah. Forever. I've been doing it for too long. But the thought of having to do it still exhausts the yeah. mechanism. I must admit, when I finished work yesterday, I was so tired. Oh. Um, I kept saying for the last hour, is it time to go home yet? <laughs> no. Mm. Okay, so we'll turn on your foot proprioceptors. Make them walk faster. I <laughs> must admit, I've got no problems with going walking. Yeah. <laughs> we get to the first the first walk 
and she'll she'll start running. She just from keep running, she'll go through that. You get to one part and I say, which way do you want to go today? <laughs> she picks away? Yep. Oh, I've got to give her something to do, you know, some. I do that with Teddy. <laughs> <laughs> which way do you want to go today to mini muscles? Yeah. <laughs> goes left, Grandma, we always go left. I go, yeah, but there's always traffic. <laughs> <laughs> he likes doing what he's always done. Yeah. He knows the other ways. We've done it, uh, and even walking to school, he likes going. Ah, oh, mm, nah, he does the same time, same way every time. Yeah. We've got our same little routine. Yeah. Which is all very cute. Yeah. Do you take them every day, or? No, no, no. Just Tuesdays, Thursdays. Oh, okay. Okay, let's check these little guys again and hold up for me. That's better. Oh, I'll be able to get this all yeah, done. So gate. much faster now, hey? Well, there's, because of the exhausted flight, you know, trying to run away from it, mm. you know, uh, now it's back up and running. So mm. less excuses. Mm. Okay, so there's nothing else in PPSS at the moment. What about the amygdala points? Okay, so let's go conscious. Let's go conscious. Do you trust that you'll get it done? Yeah, okay. Um, is there a lack of... Yeah, lack of... It's a good one. Yeah, right. Good one. <laughs> Amygdala. Okay, so 1 to 24 or our normal 5. Is this in relation to the gates or the foot proprioceptors? Yep. Yeah, so it's like your body... Um, do you ever do TLC for your feet? No. Do they ache at the end of the day when you've no. had a big day? No. Hmm. Ever since, you know, I had the ankle problem and then once they all got fixed up, it went to the knee and, yep, it's fine. Yep. Like I'm just thinking now as I'm walking, you know, I struggled so much there. Yeah, two years ago, but yeah, it's pretty good. Good. Ah, I need to get back to Sean for a treatment. No. Oh. oh, well, not going to happen until next week now. When He uh, doesn't know yet, does he? He said two weeks, so wouldn't that be the 10th? Yeah, right. So, yeah. integration we do we need to solidify this ah okay we need an affirmation in the positive in the now how do you I'm feel get it done now <laughs> how do you feel now that it's been completed and it looks amazing no I'm not done yet. no 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 but this is what we need to do so okay. I am proud of myself for yeah, for getting the, achieving for my getting perfect. Out, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, how about yeah? I am a pre. Yeah, I am proud of myself. Yeah, I am proud of myself. I am proud I of myself for yesterday. having a clean and tidy home. I am proud of myself for having a clean and tidy home. Is clean and tidy how you think of it, or what is it? No, just tidy. Tight. Okay. Mm. I am proud of myself for having a tidy home. Because the clean will come easy once it's tidy. Mm. Oh, it's so easy to have those spots, isn't it? Mm. Ah, now there goes the trust. <laughs> Was there before. Trust and trust issues. I am proud of myself. Hold. That's pretty good. more than 50 percent but yeah there's some um fear threat danger it's good to have a deadline yeah wednesday i'd like to have it all done because i've got 
Uh, so that Sunday and Monday that I can just work on the place. Tuesday back to work and when Wednesday I've got it home too. I was out going out for a couple with a friend, but apart from that I've I've got the day at home. So I'm hoping by the end of Wednesday I've got two at least two areas finished. Well, I know you can do it. Hold mm -hmm. out. That was fear of failure, by the way. Oh. <laughs> ah, and there'll be anger at yourself if you if so, you fail. Yeah. So yes, deadlines are good. Yeah. Deadlines are good. Friday, I'll be fine. I've got the deadline. Mm -hmm. Fear of failure. I've still got a morning and afternoon on Thursday. <laughs> 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 Friday. Oh. Rass again. Yeah, right. So the fear of failure lowers your serotonin level. So you don't feel so good about yourself. Mm -hmm. It's harder to stay motivated when you're not feeling great. Mm -hmm. And that blows your base chakra. Yeah, right. So then you don't feel grounded <laughs> and blah, blah. Which is why you've got to get up and have that exercise. Did yeah. you have that fog this morning? Yeah. Mm. Didn't see much at all. Mm -hmm. All the planes were diverted. And yeah, right. One was actually diverted, went back to Sydney, came from Sydney, went back. Imagine if you had a meeting. Yeah. Because most of those early flights are people who've got meetings. Years ago, I was at a party up at Jimmy's place and mm. uh, Kami was there and John was arriving in a plane at about, well, I think it was supposed to be about 9pm or 8pm or something, mm. but it was when all those floods were on a few years ago. Oh yeah. yeah. And there were lots of planes being diverted, but sure enough, finally he got on a plane. They turned it from Sydney, they turned around around the Gold Coast and went back to Sydney. Maybe they went back to um, like halfway down. Anyway, yeah. whatever happened, it ended up being a total schmozzle. Yeah. yeah, some got diverted to Gold Coast, Sunshine Coast. Okay, so Ras again. Ah, okay. So every time, so now when you're seeing those spots in the house that need tidying, are you really focused on them also? Yeah. yeah. So it's sort of like that focus, which is yeah. a good thing. Yeah. Because your brain isn't not seeing them now. Yeah. It's easy to ignore stuff until we make yeah. our effort. Well, that's what trees do also. Don't whinge at me for not doing anything. Just tell me to do it. Just <laughs> ask me because he said, I don't see what you see. Yeah. So true. Yeah, absolutely. My worst thing is though, not putting stuff back in the right place. Yeah, right. Bad, bad. It's starting to get better. Well, as I'm doing it, everything has a place now. Yeah. I am proud of myself. So firstly in the clear, I am proud of myself. I am proud of myself. I'm proud of myself. And hold. And hold. Oh, she is proud of herself. Mm. I enjoy my beautiful tidy home. I enjoy my beautiful and tidy home. Hold. 
Oh, yeah. Yes. I'm starting to imagine it now, mm. too. Yeah. Because if you can't see it, your subconscious can't mm. see it, and your subconscious is what's going to help you through it. Mm. Yeah, right. And uh, I was listening to a podcast last week with some guy who was talking about something in the Bible that was talking about square edges and housing and stuff like that. Anyway, okay. and basically the, the, the thing they were talking about in these podcasts is that um, energy builds up in square, square corners yeah. and things, yeah. you know, yeah. and that's a real feng shui yeah. thing as well. So when we've got mess around the place, part of it is that energy can get stuck in there as well. Yeah. So all of that stuff is good to mm. shift too. <laughs> Do you remember Helen, my receptionist from the first clinic down in Wynnum? She once took mm, a yes, sage yes, stick yes, home yes. Yeah. and she wanted to sage her house. And, uh, <laughs> and she was walking, and you know, the sage goes to the area where there's negative energy. Oh, and everywhere okay. she went, she's sort of going around the room, but everywhere she went, the, the smoke was coming back onto her. And um, she'd go, oh, this is ridiculous. She'd be trying to get it into the corner. It was coming back on her. When she went to, like, the third room, she went, okay, I get the hint. It's me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she was funny. Yes, I do remember her. Hmm. Well, raindrop fairy. Raindrop fairy? Mm, what did you say? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. A little cheeky babe. Mm. She went to... Uh, Rachel? No? Yeah. Uh, no? No? No. Um, no um, what was it, Rachel? Nah, no. 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 I had a couple of Rachels who worked for me. I can visualise her. Yeah. Yeah, she taught Shelby how to do the raindrop oh, okay. technique. Or maybe she taught Renergy, actually. Okay. I can't remember. When she had a couple of hours in hospital all the time. Mm. She dropped. Baby must be on the way. Yeah, I sent her some, I did her frequencies for and sent them over to her. Oh, okay. Oh. Yeah. Oh, something? Mm hmm. Someone I've got to get back to today. Do you remember David, the guy who used to come yes. with his mum? Yeah. yeah. He's in a home now. He's been quite badly damaged by the jabs. He's got, um... Anyway, he needs some supplements and probably needs some treatments. Mm -hmm. But they've been controlling what he's allowed to spend his money on, so he has to... Anyway. So where's his mum now then? I assume in another aged no. care home. Yeah. Wouldn't feel much better. No, no. That would be crazy. That was so sweet. Yeah. 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 The darlings. Mm. And she was blackmailed by her doctor. He refused to give her some of her scripts early on in the time unless she had the jabs. So even though they lived at home on their own and... Yeah. Those doctors should be raked over the coals, I mm -hmm. think. Yeah, but it's government, it's everyone, isn't it? Yeah, I saw, um, I saw, I mean, this was America, not Australia. But I saw a doctor, um, she showed, she said, if I had been pushing the jabs for the last four years with the government incentives, I'd have made one and a half million dollars. And she showed the incentives. Mm. And I don't think ours was quite the same here. I think they only got 85 bucks <laughs> here in Australia. <laughs> mm. But 
you know. I suppose they see a lot more clients a day than I do. Yeah. That's a nice bonus if you're one of those. Mm -hmm. More jobs they get, the more money they get. Mm. Mm. That's a bit sad. There's a really good interview. Um, I'm going to have to listen to it again, actually, because there were a lot of really good nuggets in it. Uh, Dr. John Campbell and um, this guy about the brain. So he's the one who was talking about homocysteine. Okay. So homocysteine builds up in the brain and it's, or it builds up in the body and it's one of the major indicators for shrinking brains. So dementia and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So it's just, again, you know, makes me feel, um, well, once again, you know, it's better than any drugs. Yeah. for repairing that sort of thing when you're doing Omegas and B-complex. Now I'm going to have to start really thinking about vegans and vegetarians and what I can do for them yeah. with things like Omegas. Yeah. Because it's pretty hard. You know, I remember Henry Oseki saying about 30 years ago I was at a seminar and he said that um, to get Omega-3s out of vegetarian foods it doesn't really happen very well for meat eaters. It yeah. can happen for the longer someone's vegetarian, the more their body will be able to utilize the omega-3s from non, um, non meat, non, non, non animal products. Yeah. But metasauruses can't really do it very well. Oh. I love my meat. Now closing your eyes and imagine yourself walking through your house and seeing all these clean, tidy pathways and how beautiful it's looking, everything in its place, the boxes of joy that you've given to all the different charities and just how that feels, how that feels, knowing that you can invite someone into your space. Wonderful. Wonderful. And hold. Beautiful. <laughs> I have to leave it too. Mm -hmm. It's there. It's there. I was going to check your immune system with something, wasn't I? Oh, EMFs. I was going to have a bit of a play around with oh, the yeah. sleep yeah. to see whether or not. Because obviously we know your brain's a bit discombobulated at the moment. So let's go check um, in relation to any and all EMFs, EMRs, and hold, 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 well, hold, hold. That's not awesome. <laughs> Put a little muscle with it. Mm. Yeah, that golf ball down at Stapleton. That's straight, oh, yeah. out, that's straight out my kitchen window. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, I love it. A long way, long way away, but mm. yeah. It's, it's no, but it's one of those things. I remember an environmental someone about uh, 10 years ago, and she was talking about when she was trying to fall pregnant, and she was learning about environmental toxicity at the time, and her and her husband just kept on having miscarriages. Mm. And finally, by the time she said to him, we're never gonna fall pregnant, because out their window, they could see um, phone towers or cell towers in every direction oh, from there, really? which means that at night time, there's actually more going directly into your bedroom. If you can oh. see the cell towers, then they can be going into your bedroom. Oh, okay. So she ended up, um, basically went down to the basement and said to her hubby you're not having sex and we're not having a baby unless we come down to the basement because i'm not staying in that bedroom upstairs with um all mm. those emrs because she kept mm. having miscarriages mm. so he finally agreed that okay no sex is worse than you know moving down to the basement mm. <laughs> and they fell pregnant wow mm. so the emrs really affect the ovaries because i think um 
Electromagnetic frequencies build up in the gut, the brain, the testicles and the spine. Okay. But also the uterus. Yeah. You know, so it's... um. For some reason, there's a bit of a frequency match there and yeah. not in a good way. Yeah. Okay, see the next. And hold. 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 And specifically thinking about the golf ball. Mm -hmm. And hold. Mm. Hold. Hold, 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 mm. no, not great. No. And see one of the, no, I think it's the Telstra Tower, it's not far from that. Yeah. So the big golf ball, which isn't really a golf ball, obviously. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, at least we don't hide them here in Australia. You know, some countries they make them out looking like cactuses and things like yeah. that, mm. and birds' nests and mm. all sorts of fun stuff. Um, do we need to check specifically in relation to say three G, four G, five G, six G? No. So they're included, yep, okay. Any other frequency stuff that's screwing with Monica's brain? There is something else. Uh, is it the smartwatch? No. Do you have um, a smart meter at the front of your house? No. Okay. I don't have one on either. Well, let's just ask in relation to Oh, what about uh, what about things like satellites and uh, that sort of uh, delight? Delight. <laughs> In relation to satellites and all the stuff and shenanigans going on with those little guys. Stuff and shenanigans. Hmm. Interesting. Send those satellites away. Interesting. One of my uh, clients last night was telling me that there's a little doodad you can get to put on your mobile phone for about 200 bucks, not that you need it, mm. that um, is connected to Bluetooth, which means you can be out in whoop whoop and your phone works like a satellite phone. Oh, okay. Hmm. No, I don't know that far out. I don't need the phone. He was here when my car arrived. No, oh, okay. Yeah. So he started giving. Yeah, well, actually, he does some really nice big hikes. Yeah. Uh, going back, you know, when I met him three, four, five years ago, he was very much a city boy. Yeah. You know, would not, you know, I used to say to him, I think you need nature. And he's like, no, 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 I'm a city boy, I'm a city boy, I'm a city boy. Yeah. And now he goes out for like, you know, eight hour hikes. Oh, wow. Three hours away from, you know, phone towers. and. But he's starting to freak out a little bit about it. So he wants to buy one of these things so he can have the phone if he needs. Well, that's true. My people say I should take a phone when I go walking. Nah. There's houses everywhere, isn't there? No, uh, there's cars driving past all Yeah, so someone would help. Yeah. Well, the other day when I fell. Yeah, You're protected. My, all these cars was, well, they're all in the traffic anyway. Yeah. Is she all right? Is she all right? I'm not in fault anyway. What happened? There was a lady... Um, in a wheelchair and the lady pushing her I said to her I said can we just walk around the back of you and with that she started getting stuff out of the bag and everything and of course I fell in the hole oh right yeah. didn't hurt myself or anything and I'm trying to get to the car and just just wait 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 anyway she said oh can I hold her and I thought well don't let her go yeah right <laughs> Uh, so many and all satellite shenanigans and hold. Let those cars go. I don't hold. want them. I don't want help. So did you give yourself, like, did you get injured at all? Yeah. Okay, good. 
I think we'll have Let's check all your major organs, make sure they're all up and running. couple of minutes left so let's uh, do a wait you know so mm -hmm. I am awesome now that I've achieved my weight of okay. awesome now I've achieved my weight of my weight of and then say it in your head my weight of oh weight of yeah I'm getting there I'm gonna get there it's gonna be like the when I got to the 40 the first time I mm -hmm. just jumped up and down because it's it's birthday Hold. again and I want to get it done. Ah, beautiful. Hold. 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 Okay, so there's a little bit of stress with the conscious brain there. But the other two were fine. Mm. Interesting. So, you know, See, your, this, this your body's pride. I would, I would love to do 44 because it would have been 44 years this year. Yeah. But if I don't, because that gets me down what, what your goal was oh, me right. in the first place. Yeah, okay. I've tried so hard to get down there, but anyway. No. But the point too is just to get back to where I was. Exactly. Move through the bones. Well, one of my friends sent me a text we're going out to dinner next Friday night. Mm. And he said, I'm doing the carnivore, I'll do a diet, I'll plus 2.9 kilos. We need to go somewhere where I can eat beef yeah. and eggs. When we met them 20 years ago, they were vegetarian. Oh, okay. Oh, really? Mm. Mm. Had been for years. I could do that diet. Carnivore. Mm. Mm. It's great for consolidation. Mm. I'll be in that when towards the end of it. Huh? Mm. Oh, so I think this is my second week. Yeah. I'd love more to go. Nice. Gee, a couple of months ago, you couldn't have done that without me squeezing. Mm, no, it's doing so well. <laughs> So many steps. Let's make sure the lymph is all moving. Mm Awesome, now I'm back down to my goal weight. Beautiful. There you go, my lovely. Thank you. 
Mm, so keep visualizing uh, yeah. your beautiful house, keep visualizing your beautiful body, keep visualizing, mm -hmm. visualizing, yeah. visualizing, visualizing, yeah. Yeah. and yeah. feeling awesome yeah. at every step of the equation. Yes, thank you. Yay! See ya! Bye! <laughs>